welcome to a new video. My boyfriend just texted me that he had a test this morning. He's positive. So later today, hopefully I can get myself tested somewhere and I'll keep you updated. I don't have any symptoms by the way. No cough, no sore throat, no fever. Um, taste, smell, everything works just fine. Okay, so uh, I'm on my way to get tested and the kids are with me and I feel fine. I have no symptoms, but just in case. So let's see if I can film it, how they're gonna stick the stick really far into my nose. Uh, let's see how deep my head is. So let's go. So I'm almost here. I have my appointment at 10 past four. It's eight past four right now. Um, so yeah, the kids are hoping that I have so that my boyfriend can come and stay with us. Let's see. Mag er mij even aankijken. Het is even vervelend. En ik moet best wel even. Ik moet wat slijm hebben. Tranen. Het is een oude oh, oh. oh, dat is wel zeer. Ja, achter mijn ogen dat is hier. Yeah. Okay, so I just finished the test. It was like painful behind my eye, right here behind it. It was like a really nasty feeling. And it was like twisting and it, I, it hurts like here above my eye and like behind my eye. So I started like tearing up, I was like crying. Uh, but now I have a coat and like after 20 minutes I'm going to check. Um, but now we're gonna drive home. Okay, so we're home and I tested online. Well, I filled out the code online and it says uh, it was negative but now I still have to stay five days in quarantine and then test again on Friday unless I get symptoms then I'll test earlier I'm so painful okay oh what a joy we're going again so I'm gonna get tested again uh, this time it's the government or uh, uh, who's testing whatever I don't know if it's in the car we have to step outside but I have to bring my two kids because I can't leave them home alone so we'll see. I won't get the result, I think, immediately or like within 20 minutes. It might take a day or so. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't have any symptoms. I'm feeling great. I would be super surprised if I would have... Because I don't feel anything wrong with me. Well, there might be something wrong with me, but I'm feeling okay. So let's go. Okay, no, Okay, so I wasn't allowed to film, but this one was not painful. They picked twice so one in my throat and one in my nose and they went like straight ahead and it was not painful it was very thin stick um the other one like the fast test was like going up behind my eye and that was so painful but this one was not painful at all so now uh i just have to wait it can take 48 hours but then we'll know so let's go so guess what i have corona uh which is strange because i don't have any symptoms at all like no sore throat, no fever, no cough, nothing. Like, I feel completely fine. So yeah, I'm at home now with the kids. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay indoors and hopefully I don't develop any symptoms. So yeah, I ordered some groceries and they came in a few days ago and I still have enough so we won't die of starvation. I can still walk Jamie because when I leave the street, I'm in the middle of just fields of grass like in between farmland there's no one there I'm not meeting anyone so I already asked on the phone when uh, they called me at the beginning of the week saying well your boyfriend has corona please stay indoors I asked her can I still walk the dog um, I pretty much I leave the street and I'm in the middle of nowhere she said yeah that's fine anyway the kids are great they don't have any symptoms either so yeah homeschooling is a little bit of a struggle with the five-year-olds because he doesn't really have a lot of schoolwork to do. He doesn't have like a laptop or iPad from school. Uh, teachers are not like teaching online. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go back to the kids. Apparently I have Corona and I feel great, which is strange. So it's a few days later and I'm still not feeling sick. Nothing, no cough, no sore throat, no fevers, no nothing. Um, still homeschooling the kids. We can go to the backyard, um, like from 8.30 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. We have kind of like a school program, like now in the afternoon we're going to do some crafts and just watch movies, eat popcorn. 
Uh, sometimes we play some music and we just dance around the house to get some exercise and maybe edit some older photos in different ways or maybe record some Mama. editing videos so Mama. we'll go yeah so yeah my boyfriend recently lost his um sense of smell and taste and that can stay away for quite some while that's what they told us on the phone so i'm not doubting that he has it which means that it's pretty logical that i have it but I, I'm just not having any symptoms. Maybe I'll have some stuff for sale soon because I actually have a lot of backdrops and some props and some outfits that I want to get rid of. Like I want to sell them. I also have my older cameras that I might sell because why do I need like four? So I was thinking there are a few things that I could do now with my time. And one of the things is um, edit some photos in a different way. So... I want to do that and then show you how I edit the photos and they're going to be like portrait and wedding They're going to be like wedding portraits just step by step how I'm doing it in Photoshop uh, I might record some for Lightroom in the future the Kids are playing uh, Animal Crossing for the first time because we borrowed that one for the Wii um, They have no idea really what to do but they enjoy it but I like this editing style that you see now a lot and it's more like a like muted toned but very classy look so it's not bright and airy it's not dark and moody but i really like it so i just want to play with uh, changing some colors and um, see if i can achieve that look as well so i'm just gonna uh, show it to you step by step and uh, we're just gonna have fun together so i think i'm just going to uh, record my screen and then just do a voiceover so i'm just gonna show you a few images i've edited in the past and the colors are soft i like uh pastels i like light and airy but not like like washed out was it before and here we go this is the edited version the original edited one same here just some slight changes it's nothing too drastic here you can see the original one and then the edited version, the edited version, original one, edited. Here you see the flowers. So it's a little bit brighter. It's like a tiny bit cooler as well. Um, and there's some highlight recovery here. The original one and then edited showing you some differences so it's it's brighter here you see the flowers it brings out the colors really nicely um so yeah. showing you some before and afters okay, that one we already did and here you just see bouquet in their hands it's not a big difference Seeing if I can show you some more here. You see the before and after. I'm always starting with the after, then I go back to the before and then back to the after. I hope you see <laughs> which one was intended to be before and after. So we have before and here's after. Another one. I just looked up some uh, photos of weddings I did before. Um, I didn't really pick up a lot of photos from ceremonies and bride and groom getting dressed, but it just gives you an idea of some of the photos that I take. Here are the cake. You do see some um, binding, bonding, I don't know, lost the word, uh, there, which should not be there here you got some shoes and i think some shoes at the bride as well just some different colors okay so now we want to go to a different type of egg some more like which is like very popular right now a little bit more like film um which is cool so i just want to pick out one photo let's go for this one okay so let's go back to the way it was 
So I want to start with some curves. So we're going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and we're going to go to curves. And I'm going to drag this one up pretty high, like 183 maybe. Um, yeah, as far as input. And then I actually want to drag this one back to the way it was to have the contrast. Like this brings the contrast, the other one brings the light. That's how I describe it. It's probably not the best way, but, uh, but I want to keep the contrast. So let's go there. Then I want to go to the green layer. And I want to drag it down a little bit. Like, let's go to 133. Just dragging it down. Okay. Then we want to go to the blue layer and I want to drag that down a bit as well so let's go blue pretty much the same 133 134 something like that perfect then the red I just want to increase a little bit so let's drag that one up to 124 something like that I want to stay a little bit in the middle. I'm not like being super accurate right now. Let's do that. Um, later I might change the opacity of the curves layer, but let's go for now. I want to go to selective color, uh, layer, new adjustment layer. Let's go to selective color. And in the yellows, I want to change something because I want to have less yellows kind of so with the yellows uh, I think I want to drag up the blue tone to like a hundred magenta I'm just gonna leave it there and then the yellow I want to go to like minus 90 and then I kind of want to make them darker like the yellows like here you can see so I want to go to like plus 50 pretty much Okay, great. Um, so I want to add another selective color and I do them separately because then I can change the opacity if I want. So let's go to the selective color and I want to change the reds because like that's the skin tone as well. And I want to warm it up a little bit. So I'm going to take down the blue tone in the reds like 70 percent and i'm gonna increase the yellow with like a hundred percent um yeah there is some orange coming into the photo but i quite like that okay now i want to add like a warming filter so i want to add new adjustment layer let's go to photo filter this is a very easy way to warm up your image um I think I want to drag it to like 30 so there you go and now for the last um, thing that I want to do is increase the um, light overall and I'm just gonna have a separate curves layer just because I want to be able to um, also take it down like um, the opacity and not change too much so let's go to this one now, for the first curved layer, that was this one. I'm going to turn it on and off. It did quite a lot for the image, but I think it did a little bit too much. So I want to lower that one to like the opacity to like 50%. I really like the image like this. So let's go to the original. And now how I edited it. I really like it. So yeah, I saved what I did now in an action. I'm just going to play it on some separate uh, images. So I'm going to show you the effect. Uh, image, and I'm just going to play my new edit. There you go. I really like it. The film effect. And we're going to go back to the original and then the new edit. Like it. This one as well, back to the original and then the new edit. 
like it very much. And this one's interesting because I'm taking down the yellow and parts of the chapel are yellow. So let's go to the original one. Now, just to start off a little bit the same, I'm just gonna quickly have the same cutout pretty much. Okay, now let's go to the new edit. Like it, like it. Here we go. Um, so this was the edited version that I always did. Back to the original. Let's go to the new edits. Like it. Very nice. So also back to the original and then the new edits. Very nice. Here, let's go back to the original and then go to the new edit. Very nice. I think they look really nice together as well. So back to the original. This one's a little bit darker as you can see. Let's go to the new edit. Here, I'm not quite sure if I really like this area. I don't know why it has this. Uh, because it's really like fading out the green, but then the red is still quite harsh. Like with autumn colors, this might not work. But yeah, don't use the same strategy on all photos. Let's go back to the original and go to the new edits. I wouldn't go do like all the edits just on the folder and not look at the images. You might have to tweak a little bit, of course, or even do it per image. But this looks pretty. So yeah, let's go back to the original. And let's do the new edit. Like, I mean, it does change the colors a lot, especially in this photo. I don't know if the bride and groom will be too excited if they see that the color of their <laughs> bouquet changed a little bit. But it's not that bad. It's just, here you see. I like it. Um, when you have all the photos in the album with the same editing style, I think it looks very nice because they all look really nice together like a uniform look and feel i like it so yeah, this is more like a classy oh yeah this one we already just did together okay let's go back to the original and let's do the edit i think it works really well with these images curious with this one as well because it was not sunny as you can see um it was actually very overcast that day yeah, let's go to the new edit. Ooh, I like it. Very nice. Here, like, I would edit out the lines in her dress first. Um, but for now, we're just, we're not really, like, tweaking too much. Let's take away some sky. But uh, let's get the new edit. Look, here, it's too bright. So, the last curves... If I take that one out, or even that curves as well, it looks better because um, I, I took that photo too bright because I took it for my other editing style, which can handle it. But this one, I should not overexpose. <laughs> okay, so here we go, new editing style, three, two, one, and there you go, very pretty. And, oh yeah, this one, very cool. So we're going back to the original, and then the new edit. Mm, nice. It brings out the golden sunlight. Here you have some detailed shots of floral chair decorations. So we're going back to the original. We're going to the new edit. And very nice. Like, oh yeah. So we have a detail on the men's jackets. And we have the new edits. I like it. Very sunny. Warm. Oh, I'm curious about this one too. So we're going to go back. And then the new edits. I like it. Very much this muted. Uh, okay. So I'm quickly going to the last few. Uh, two more. So the shoes. Back to the original. Yeah, I fixed this a little bit here in the bottom. Not the best way, but anyway. Um, let's go to the new edit. I like it. 
And the last one, the women's shoes. We'll go to, back to the original. Yeah, I did cut a little bit here. And I think there was a little stain on the shoe here, which is now gone. And now the new edit. I think that looks really nice. So yeah, I'm happy with the um, new edit. And it was very simple and very easy to, um, yeah, to make and to uh, play on different photos and see what they look like. Very nice. So anyway, thank you for watching um, and um, have a lovely day.